In this video, I'm going to show you how I built a N8 and automation for AI image editing that can finally replace Photoshop forever. So you basically upload an image to the automation that we are about to create and describe how we want the AI to make edits to the image and with the press of a button, the AI agent that we built will edit the image and downloads the image to your computer. It's pretty simple and straightforward to build this N8 and automation and that too in under 10 minutes. So let's quickly get started. And now just as to show you a demo of this image editor N8 and workflow, I'll click on this execute workflow button right here. And as you can see, it opens up a form and first of all, we need to upload an image. And now just as to show you the demo, this right here is the image that I'm planning to upload. And I'm going to give a prompt and I'll ask the AI to change the outfit of this particular person. So I'll first of all, drag and drop and upload the image in here. And after that, I'll give a prompt something like edit this photo and make the person in the photo wear a shorts and a cool half sleeve t-shirt and he's playing football in a beach side. And now here I have given a prompt and now watch the magic. As soon as I click on the submit button, there you go. As you can see, the workflow is currently active and right now it is calling the Gemini API and within seconds, the workflow will be completed and it should show us the output. So there you go. Here we have downloaded the image and let me quickly open it up. And there you go. This right here is the image and I just gave a simple prompt and asked the AI to change the outfit of this person and also make him such that he's playing football by a beach side and look at that. So basically, this is the workflow that we will be building in today's video. All right. So this right here is the N8 and automation that I built. And this right here is a nano banana powered AI image editor that allows anyone to upload an image and edit the image however they want to. And again, we are going to use nano banana AI model that is Gemini 2.5 flash image model from Gemini. And again, in this video, I'll show you how we can build this entire workflow from scratch. Or if you want to skip the queue and you know, just want to get started right away, you can also find a link to the JSON file in the description below. So you can just download and load them to your N8 instance and you can get going as well. And again, for creating a N8 workflow, obviously you will need access to N8 and this right here is the official website of N8N.io. And now you have two options to use N8. So the first option is that you can head over to n8n.io, sign up for a new account, pay for the subscription and start using it. But the thing about using n8 via n8n.io is that it is so pricey. So you will have to spend like 20 euros per month just as to get the basic or let's say the startup plan. And as you can see, even then you have limits like five concurrent executions, one shared project. And again, you're limited to just 2.5K workflow executions. And the thing here is that it is extremely pricey. But in this video, we'll be using N8 in a much affordable way. And that is we are self-hosting N8 in a VPS via Hostinger. So Hostinger allows you to self-host N8 on a VPS in just a single click and you can get going quickly. And the interesting part about using N8 via Hostinger is that it is several folds cheaper. So as you can see, the plan starts just from 399 rupees so if you were to use the official n8n.io website the startup plan you will have to spend upwards of 2000 rupees but if you're about to go with a self-hosted version of n8n via hostinger you can get it for as low as 400 rupees per month that is 399 and on top of that you get unlimited workflows and unlimited concurrent executions and now if you do want to self-host n8n all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to hostinger and after that you can select a plan so if you want to begin with this plan that is kvm1 you can select that kvm2 or depending on your use case you can select any of these plans and the even cooler part is that you can even upgrade this plan anytime so if you have like a lot of workflows running concurrently and the resources are not enough you can just upgrade your plan in just a single click as well so in this case i'll select the kvm2 this option right here so i'll click on this choose plan option so here we are in the cart now and you can scroll down and select the server location. So it is always the best that you select a server location closest to your region. So in this case, I'll select it as India. And next up, you need to make sure you selected N8 as the operating system. And now once that's done, if you want a 10% discount on your total price, all you got to do is to use a coupon that is Astro. So you can click on this button that says have a coupon. And after that, just enter the coupon Astro and click on apply and you will get instant 10% discount on the final price. So there you go. And again, if you want to take it a step further, if you, let's say, plan to go with 24 months plan, then you can use the coupon that is Astro 15 and get 15% discount as well. 
so there you go the coupon is applied so if you want extra discounts make sure to use the link and the coupon in the description below so here i'm now logged into hosting or edge panel and i selected the hosting or the vps that we just bought and again you can click on this manage app button and when you click on that button for the first time you'll be asked to create an administrator account for the anytime instance and you can just go ahead and give your details and create a new account and after that when you click on this manage app option you'll be able to use your self-hosted version of anytime and again, this is our private instance of N8 that is running in our own private VPS. And right now we have a couple of workflows in here and all of these are workflows that I created. And if this is your first time, you will find a button that says start from scratch. And now to quickly begin creating a workflow, I'll click on this button that says create workflow. Okay, I can maybe move it this side. And again, this right here is the workflow that we are planning to build. And in this particular workflow, first of all, we have a form trigger where we ask the user to upload the image and then we send it to the Gemini Flash 2. Point, that is 2.5 Flash uh, image model. And we ask the AI to make all the changes and we check if the response is there and if the AI generated images is there. And if it is there, then we convert that into, that is the base 64 string into a file. And then we finally give the user the option to directly download it. So that is basically the whole flow and now we'll begin by creating all of this one by one and again all of this starts with a trigger node right. So first of all I'll click on this button that says add first step and I'll click on this option that says on form submission and now you can give it a form title let's say nano banana uh, image editor and then form description will be like please upload the image and describe how you want to edit the image. So this is going to be the form description and after that if I open the original one as you can see here we have two form elements. The first one is a text input field asking the user to let's say enter the prompt and the second one is where we ask the user to upload the image. And now in this case what I'll do is I'll click on this add form element option and the first one is going to be how you want to edit your image. Oops, edit your image. And the type is going to be text that is element type and then placeholder i'll leave it for now and i'll make sure to mark it as required and next up we should accept the image from the user right and for that we need to give an option for them to upload the image and next up i'll just uh, select the field name as upload your image here and then the element type is going to be file and multiple files and again if you want to restrict the kind of files that the user can upload you can enter that in here for the time being i only want user to uh, upload files that are either jpg png jpeg or gif that is gif and now this is all that i got to do and now i can save it and next up we need to make a request to the gemini api and again for actually using the nano banana AI model we'll be using the api from ai studio so let me wait for it so here I'm right now in the AI Studio page. So all you got to do is to head over to astudio.google.com and towards the bottom, you will find an option that says get API key. So you can click on the same and now click on this option that says create an API key and you can select a project and create an API key. So in this case here, I have already created an API key. So I can just copy the same just like this. And next up, we need to make a call to the Gemini API. And for the time being, I'll maybe copy this node and I'll directly paste it in here and maybe okay let's connect it like this and now what i'll do is i'll double click on it and you'll have to enter all these details in here and now to use the nano banana ai model the request that you'll have to make is to this particular url right here as you can see gemini 2.5 flash image preview and generate content and don't worry i'll make sure to leave all these urls and all other resources in the description below and again the method is going to be post and now after you scroll down you have to make sure you enable this option that says hen headers and select this option that says using fields below and next just enter x hyphen g o o g then hyphen api then hyphen and key next step head to your google ai studio and copy the api key and paste the same in here and next step we enable this option that says send body and the type is going to be json and then using json and after that maybe i can open this expression and this right here is the expression that you will have to paste in this node and again i'll make sure to leave this in the description as well and another thing is that basically we are sending the text prompt and again the image type and also the data that is the original image to the ai model so maybe i can actually continue it in here i believe so if i open this gemini node and as you can see here we already have the image so this image we actually get it from this form submission so every time 
so for example if i click on this uh, execute step button right here as you can see it opens up a form like this and the user will be prompted to enter a prompt and also upload a image so in this case i'm planning to upload this particular image and okay just let me show you a preview so this right here is the image that i want to edit and now how i want to edit this image you ask well let's just say i want to make this person stand in front of the eiffel tower so i'll go ahead and give a simple text prompt edit this photo such that the person is standing in front of the eiffel tower a simple prompt something like this and i'll click on the submit button right here and now as you can see here we have the input already and now the thing is that we need to send this image to the gemini api and now i'll open this expression right here and as you can see in the text field we are just sending this prompt right here so basically i just added this uh, prompt i dragged and dropped it in here and again we have that in here and next up we need to enter the mime type so basically it is a binary so you will have to enter the binary and then dot that is this image and then we'll drag and drop the mime type in here and after that binary dot image then again we want to send the actual data right so you can simply put data and again don't worry i'll make sure to leave all this expression in the description below as well or if you want to you can also actually get access to the json file in the description as well and now that part is done and actually when i executed this particular workflow it actually ran this particular node as well and now it is exactly similar to let's say clicking on this button right here so it has actually sent a request to gemini api via this url right here and it actually sent the image that we uploaded and if i click on this view button this right here is the image that it uploaded and now as you can see here we have got the data that means our gemini api integration is indeed working and we can find the image or the data in here and next up once we get the data we need to transform it right so before that we are actually checking so we want to make sure that the gemini api uh, call did not fail and it actually went through and there's an easy way you can actually check for it and for that we actually added a if node in here and it says check gemini response and if i open it up we are simply just comparing the values right so if i open the expressions tab as you can see we are just making sure that we have candidates and candidate zero and again both of them are combined with a and operator again you can find that expression in the description below and we are just comparing to make sure that the node or let's say the previous node actually worked and we have the output from the gemini api and now that we have the file next up we need to convert this base 64 into a file right base 64 string into a file and for that here we have yet another node and again if you want to add this node all you gotta do is to click on this plus button and you can simply search for file and convert to file and you can select this option that says move base 64 string to file and i have added the same in here maybe i can pin this for now so i'll have test data to play around with the next one maybe i can execute this and as you can see here we already have the data so of course it will actually execute the true branch as you can see and again we haven't really said anything in the false branch and the boolean says that condition that is string it says is not empty so that is the key right so we want to make sure this response has the image that we are looking for so basically we are comparing candidates and candidates zero that is zeroth location to make sure we have the response and again that part is done and now if i move over to this conversion here as you can see here we have the data and this is the thing that we are converting into a file and now the operation will be set as move base 64 string to file and after that all you're going to do is to map it out exactly so candidate 0 dot content dot parts and inline dot data that is this one right here so this is the data so you can simply drag and drop it in here and next step in the put output file in field i have mentioned data and again if i execute this step we will get the binary data in here so let's wait so there you go here we have the binary data or the image and this right here is the image that the ai has processed and if i click on this view button as you can see the ai has edited the image such that the person is now standing in front of the eiffel tower and that is exactly what we wanted and now to finally finish it off i added a form ending a uh, note so basically i clicked on this form uh, plus button right here i searched for form and then n8 and form and then i selected this form right here that says form ending okay maybe i can delete it for now and i'll show you it in here now the page type is going to be form ending and then on n8 and form submission here i have set it as return binary file so basically after you user uploads the image within that same pop-up we should need to let's say download the image to the user's computer so that is basically what we want to do so here we have set it as return binary file and then the completion title is your image is ready and the completion message says your edited image will download now and again the input data field name is data so whatever thing that you mentioned in the previous note and now with that we finally have our n automation ready and now if i try to execute this particular step right here 
it will now open up the form and download the image so there you go it says your edited image will download now okay so there you go it says file one dot png and if i open it up there you go this right here is the edited image so it is as easy as this to create a full-fledged nano banana powered ai image editor using n810 and now this right here is the overall workflow and i'm pretty sure it is pretty simple and straightforward and you can to build a automation like this in less than 10 minutes and again if you have never tried n810 before i'll recommend you watch this uh, n810 beginners video that i have created in my channel so you can click on the i button above or link in description below to check that out and now that we have built our entire automation next step i'll try to let's say unpin the data so just we can work with the fresh data and now i'll click on this execute workflow option and now it opens up this form and again the thing that we need to do is to enter a prompt and now i'll find a different image and prompt to uh, upload so here i have got a image this is a photo of myself so i'll upload the same in here and just as to show you a demo this right here is the image that i'm uploading and i'll ask the ai to modify this image such that i'm wearing a let's say a jacket okay please make the person in the photo to wear a black jacket and replace the regular spectacles with a ray-ban sunglasses okay so this is the prompt i'll give and now as soon as i click on this okay maybe i can move it to this side right here uh, make it a bit smaller like this and as soon as i click on the submit option so there you go as you can see it is now calling the gemini api and it is now uploading the image that we uploaded here and now it will pass the same to the gemini api and currently this node is in uh, progress and now we have got the response and now it converted the base 64 into a string and finally we have downloaded the image in here so here we have the image and let me open it up and there you go this right here is the image that the ai has created right okay not bad right so it has actually replaced the sunglass and also added a black jacket there you go and again if you want to modify this workflow such that after generating the image we want to post it to, to instagram or in a social media platform or let's say send a whatsapp message or save the image to your google drive folder well you can totally do that for example instead of this form ending you can add a different node for example let's say you want to save this image into let's say a google drive folder you can search for drive then select google drive and then select upload file and configure it and you can modify it however you want to so this is the overall flow of creating a nano banana powered ai image editor and latin workflow and that too in less than 10 minutes and again if you want to follow along i'll make sure to leave all the resources in the description below and i'll also make sure to add the json file in the description below so you can download and start using it right away i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one